Welcome to Linux in a Shell, Episode 28, Extended Attributes, LSATTR, and Shatter. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host today. As always, I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website and the audio files. So I recommend uh, give Hacker Public Radio some love and check them on out at hackerpublicradio.org. Today, I'm going to show some examples of using the LSATTR and CHATR commands to change attributes on a extended attributes on a file. There's really not much I could show on this, so we're just going to jump right in. I have a uh, test directory here with some files in there, just some text files. And if I do LSATTR, you see that there's really only one attribute set on those. That's the extents attribute because it's an EXT for file system. Now, some of the options that I have with LSATTR, uh, <coughs> I can go up one level. Whoa! ATTR right there, and you can see all the stuff in there. I could do LSATTR uh, recurse, which shows you all going into the directories. Uh, and then I can do LSATTR A, which shows hidden files. And if I combine it with a hidden and recursive, it is going to go through all the files in there. So that's some excitement there. LSATTR dash capital V shows me, uh, well, does verbose listing. It's supposed to show the version of LSATTR, but I, it's not doing that. You see, oh, they took, yeah, display the program version. And I guess it doesn't want to do that. And I don't know why. Well, there it is. Uh, it's still showing me everything plus the uh, version. Anyway, uh, and if I do dash LSATTR dash V, it shows me the content, the version generation number, which you can see over here, which is automatically generated. Okay, so let's go back into the test directory and let's look at what we have here. If I wanted to set an attribute, and I can set many of the different attributes, I can um, do CHATTR and I could do something like plus C for compression, litstate.txt, and now if I do LSATTR, you see that that file actually has compression on it that's set and if I actually vim this file and do a right quit, you'll notice that compression is gone. That's because I really have to set it at the directory level if I want it to stay. So I do plus C test and oh, chatter. I want to do chatter plus C test. And when I do that, you see that now those files don't have the compression set. But if I did LSATTR-D for the directory and look at test, I have compression set. So if I did touch me in there, you'll see that any file created in there now has a compression bit set. That's exciting, isn't it? Um, one, one of the things that I made mention of was the append only. So if I wanted to do that, I could do chatter plus a for append only let's uh, date.txt and you'll say it's not permitted because I need to be super user to do that. Uh, so if I use sudo on there and put in my password and now you will see that I can it's append only. So if I did vim let's date.txt and I try to write to it, it won't let me do it because I can't open it for writing. But I could do echo hello there, let's date.txt append, and it'll let me do that. So if I did cat let's date.txt, you'll see that at the end right here is hello there. But if I tried to do the same thing with only a single redirect, it would tell me permission, operation not permitted. Well, why do I want to just keep typing LS? I'm used to typing LS more than LSATTR. So there you go. That's pretty much uh, 
LSATTR and Chatter in a nutshell. Some of the other options I could I could have done uh, LSATTR equals C on lit's date, and that would try and uh, no such files or directory while trying to type. Okay, so that trying to stat C. So uh, if I wanted to remove C, it says invalid option. But I can do plus C to return it. And it still didn't do it. So uh, I can't do anything to it because it's in append only mode. Pseudo uh, CHATTR minus A let's date dot txt duh why didn't you tell me that so if i did it now chatter equals c let's date dot txt uh i can't clear off the extent that's what the error is throwing me there because it can't clear off the extent so it won't let me do that but if i did chatter plus c on let's date it restores it and if I wanted to remove it, minus. Uh, and it won't let me set the equals on there because I can't set the extants because that's... And I don't believe it'll let me do this either. Oh, it'll let me do it like that if I include the extants. That's the only time I would actually be able to include the extants right there. So just, you know, something to be aware of. So I could also do... I could have done chatter verbose, I want it to be verbose on uh, on that and do equals C let's date and it would tell me the version and clearing extent not supported. Now if I wanted to suppress error messages I could do dash F and you could see that it really didn't do anything right there. Um, if I did minus C LSATR so I took it off if I did uh, this again, you'll see that it should not have put the C back on because it suppressed the error message. So that, that's pretty interesting right there for you to, to, to swallow on. And finally, the other thing is I can set version number. So if I did LSATTRV, I see version number. If I did LSATTRV15, uh, let's date.txt. I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Um, no such file or directory when trying to stat. So if I did V, it show. Oh, I'm. I want to do chatter V. Fifteen less date dot txt. See, it's set it to fifteen. Now I don't know what that's going to do, because uh, versioning number, as explained, is used more in a network file system to know when a file is changed, but I did it that way. So if I were to do uh, echo hello again to uh, let's date.txt, and I did that, the version still stays, so that's the way it goes. Uh, that's basically messing around with chatter and lsattr, ls attribute, change attribute in a nutshell. Like I said, there's really not much to tell or show. That's how you set them. That's how you view them. That's how you remove them. Be aware that, you know, especially some of those that you can't set, you're going to have to specify in the equals. That's uh, been Linux in the Shell, episode 28. Thanks a lot. My name's Dan. You have a great day.